Hi, I'm Gina Michelle from the Gina Michelle Project, and today I want to talk with you real briefly about what it takes to get your offer accepted in today's market. You see, I represent a lot of buyers. In fact, in 2015 alone, I closed over $20 million in transactions and was ranked number 16 over 728 agents in my area. So I receive a lot of offers on my own listings, and I write a lot of offers that I represent. Through my 11 years as an agent, I've developed a rock-solid, tested, strategic approach to making offers and getting them accepted. So, here's the list. Always submit a solid, up-to-date, pre-qualification letter from a good lender. You should be able to find that lender online, and hopefully they have positive reviews and an online presence. As a listing agent, I want to be sure the offer I accept is rock-solid, so I definitely will look into the lender and the loan officer to check their experience and their track record. And when possible, submitting an underwritten pre-approval is even better. Offer terms. In a heated market with low inventory such as ours, you want to reduce your contingencies appropriately. That means instead of a 17-day inspection period, we could reduce that to 10 days. This shows the seller that we need business and we're going to move quickly to inspect the home. This also sends a message that should there be any major issues that come up during the inspection and buyer and seller can't come to an agreement, we can hop out of escrow and let those sellers go much more quickly than another offer. Three, favorable terms to the seller. I will always have a conversation with the listing agent before I write any offer because I want to know what the seller's needs are. Are they buying another home? Are they moving out of state? Do they need a lease back period because they have small children that need to finish school? We want to know this information going in so that we can write our offer to match their needs. Offering a flexible leaseback period is a great way that I've been able to beat out multiple offers in the past. Four, write a clean offer, meaning no unusual terms or requests like can the seller throw in their living room furniture, their flat screen TVs, their small dog, etc., etc., etc. All that can be negotiated after our offer is accepted. Our offer should be clean and easy to present to the seller. Five, prepare a cover letter. This is a simple letter that outlines who you are and why you absolutely love the seller's house and why it's a perfect fit for you. Including a picture of you or your family is a plus. This letter can help our offer get to the top of the list. I also write a letter myself to the listing agent about my client's qualifications and why they should select our offer. Believe me, most sellers have an emotional tie to their home, so knowing who their home is going to can make your and make and makes you and your family happy can carry a lot of weight. These are just some of the points to think about when writing our offer. Depending on your specific situation and specific property, there's a lot more info that we can discuss. So feel free to give me a call if you want to have a quick conversation. Thanks for watching and look out for the next video coming soon. It'll have more information about the buying process and how to make sure you find the home of your dreams at the price that you want. Don't forget to catch our latest projects and designs on our website, thegina-michelle-project.com. And until then, Gina Michelle, signing off.